We're at the Civic Auditorium, capacity 9,400. They announced a crowd of 10,184. They've got some standing room going here. The fire marshal must have Saturday off, and Creighton leads at 53-50. Next year, the Blue Jays are moving into a brand new arena downtown at the convention center that'll seat nearly 16,000 people, and they may just sell out that place a couple of times. Not a real geographic relationship, but because they've been so good, a very intense rivalry between the two. Nothing for McKinney. And here's Corbin, shown all over him. Quick on the turnaround, sweet bank, Larry House. And that's a half to Hairston looking to go all the way. Kyle Corver pulls it down. Blue Jays are good when they're getting defense and running that basketball. Lindemann. Interesting, last year when these two teams played, including the Missouri Valley Tournament, the team that led at the half lost all three games. And a good start for Larry Howe. Even when they switch on Corver, all five guys understand to guard him on a short leash. McKinney has a three ball. Oh, look at Darren. Brody Darren. How big is that play to get 9% before halftime? And at one point, they were shooting in the high 50s. Bowden, a good backdoor cut. Got it back. Corver for three. Kyle Corver with 13 on the day. This game is tied. Kyle Korver just tied the Missouri Valley Conference record for threes in a career. Who deflected that ball? SIU. Kyle Korver has now hit 314 threes, tied for number one all time in the Missouri Valley Conference with a guy who's got a suit on here today. More on that in a minute. Korver. He breaks the record! SIU, the previous three-point holder. But look at the attempts, 805. Kyle Korver hasn't even shot anywhere near 700. He's got three in a row! I'll tell you what, if he's open, man, that thing is in the sack. That guy has a stroke that's textbook. Nearly a steal by Kellen Milner. And Omaha is rocking now. Even the, the Blue Man group is here. Watch Kyle Corver up top. That's one of his favorite places on the floor. You see that follow through? Oklahoma with three good seniors in the raw, White and Price. That's why they'll be right there at the top of that Big 12 when all things are said and done. Stay with experience for the next seven or eight weeks. Brody Darren, great pass. Mike Grimes. Yeah, the big thing in the Big 12, now everybody's saying, well, we don't have hit and pop. You've got a big guy who can step out and shoot the ball. Bob, that's a good way to get him a look. Anthony Bowden working in the paint. Dumps it off. Grimes over Dearman. And a foul. That make, he only has five today. And we're tied for the sixth time. No contact. Corver, two open. 22 for Kyle Culver. Somebody lost him. That's what Mom's high school team did that day, too. <laughs> 74? <laughs> Are you kidding? House got his own. And again! You just can't let Culver get loose the last six minutes if you're Southern Illinois and have a chance to win this game. Now they're down by seven. Larry House again, a dozen for him. Match of this one. Well, Let's check, check our schedule. We may have to drive over to Carbondale. <laughs> nice oh, great look. Dabbert from McKinney.
Tell you what, Omaha, Nebraska is going nuts. The great look again by a screener sliding to the rim. And then again, this is a team that gets you in spurts. They shoot a lot of layups and they shoot a lot of three-point shots. That's by design. That's the fifth rebound of the day. Bowden penetrating. Looking some clock here. It's at 10, the shot clock, 2.30 to go now. Lindemann off the dribble. First basket. Down to 10 seconds, we're headed. Way short, Forbert grabs it. And the Creighton Blue Jays, after a slow start, will take a lead and go in first place in the Missouri Valley Conference, winning it by nine. Great.